Okay. Now look at the questions. Now before I begin to solve these questions, note that distance is used to calculate speed, while displacement is used to calculate velocity. Distance and speed is equal to distance over time, while velocity or displacement over what? Time. So while calculating speed, you use distance. While calculating velocity, we use displacement. Now, let's look at question one. It says a taxi driver travels from town A to town B. 150 km distance in two hours, 30 minutes. Find his average speed in kilometer per hour. Okay, recall that speed is equal to distance divided by time. And now we are giving the speed of the man and we are giving the time. We are looking for distance. If speed equals distance over time. This implies that distance is equal to speed times time. And from the question, we are given time in hour and minutes and we are asked to solve in hour. This implies that we have to convert two hours 30 minutes into hour and doing that we know that one hour is equals 60 minutes therefore 30 minutes will give us how many hour let's say s hour s hour will be equals 30 over 60 or 30 times 1 over 60 this is simply 1 over 2 which is 0 0.5 hour so 30 minutes is half hour or 0 0.5 hours now 2 hours plus 0 0.5 hours is simply 2.5 hours so total time in hour is equals 2.5 if we are asked to solve in meter per seconds or kilometer per seconds or any unit as the case may be it's just for you to convert so we have time and we have distance equals 150 kilometer so your speed your speed is simply 150 times 2.5 this will give you 375 kilometer per hour that is the distance we've solved for distance now it doesn't make sense to you at all if it does look at the next question and if it doesn't ask your question okay looking at question c no question number two a car has a velocity of 100 meter per seconds how far does it travel in five minutes? And now, when you see velocity, then displacement comes in. Because displacement is used to calculate velocity. While anytime you see speed or distance, speed comes to your mind. When you see speed, distance comes to your mind. So in this case, we are required to calculate displacement. Because displacement is associated with velocity. Velocity is displacement over time over time cross multiplying displacement will be will be equals velocity times time so
So velocity is in meter per second, which is 100 meter per second times time is in minutes. So everything has to be in seconds. Therefore, we convert time to second. 50 minutes to seconds is simply multiplying by 60. And this will give you 300 seconds. 100 times 300 is 30,000. So the displacement is 30,000 meters. Then divided by 1,000. will give you 30 kilometer. So that's your displacement. Makes sense, right? All right, let's see the number three question. The third question says, an object moves four meter east-west and then three meter southward. What is its displacement from the original position? Now, I think these are the cardinal points. North, south, west, north, south, west, east. So it moves 4 meter east-west. That means it moves this way 4 meter. And then 3 meters southwest. It now moves down 3 meters. Now, it says what it is displacement from the original position. First of all, what is the original position? What was the original position? The original position is here, starting from here. And what is its final position? It's here. So we are asked to look for its displacement from the original position position so we've gotten the initial and final position and this is the original position so looking for the displacement from here which displacement is this gives you something like this yes um four meter three meter so this is simply triangle This is triangle. To look for the displacement from its original position, we use Pythagoras theorem to find the S. So from Pythagoras theory, S square is equals 3 square plus 4 square. S square is equals 9 plus 16. S square is equals 25. S is equals square root of 25. This is 5. So the displacement is 5 meter. So that is it. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Check out my other videos. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos like this.